Hey everybody, this is Colton with POSGuys.com and today I'm going to be showcasing a new free Android app that we created that allows you to easily scan and print barcode labels from your smartphone with minimum setup or upfront investment required. Uh, we were frustrated with the lack of options on the marketplace to easily print labels from your phone with no fancy bells or whistles. Uh, you know, we really wanted something streamlined and so we thought, you know what, we're going to develop it ourselves. Uh, and that's what we have here. Uh, it's called label print and essentially what it allows you to do is select from a number of pre-built label templates customize those uh, with entry fields that you can customize to sort of fit your workflow uh, and you can also scan in barcode data uh, with either your phone's camera or a device that has like an integrated barcode scanner and you can print those labels to any zebra bluetooth or ethernet label printer either a desktop thing like this or more of a mobile type device like that um, so with that i'm going to go ahead Zoom you in and let's cut right to the chase and show off what this app can do. Okay, we're zoomed in here now. So let's go ahead and open up the app for the first time. And when you've uh, loaded up for the first time, you're gonna get a couple uh, prompts, sort of just you know giving you some info here. Um, and we'll exit out of that for now. The app is made up of three primary tabs. You have a print tab, a templates tab, and a settings tab. Uh, and we'll go through and sort of show off each of these features as we come to it. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your printer is connected. Um, I have the ZQ620 here, so we'll go ahead, get that connected. There you go. Uh, and then you'll generally start off afterwards with the templates tab here. Uh, the templates tab is where you'll select your pre-built template, uh, and then you can sort of configure how information is entered into those templates. Uh, as of time of recording, we have five different templates to choose from. Uh, we have something built for shelf tags, product labels, shipping labels, um, a little two barcode uh, a label with two different barcodes on there. Um, and then we also have a top option here um, for easy barcode replication. For demonstration sake, we're going to select this second one here and you'll see the little green dot uh, pop up. Uh, but once you've selected that, all you need to do is go over here to print uh, and you'll see three different entry options here, uh, product name, price, and a barcode. So just for demonstration's sake, we'll throw in an apple. We'll give it, uh, we'll call it, uh, you know, $3. Oop. Oh my goodness, $3. Uh, and then we'll just throw in some generic barcode data. After that, you just select the number of copies. Let's say we wanted to do two. Hit print, and they'll print out on the app here. Just like that. And you'll go ahead and see those right there. And I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see them a little bit better. Um, so that's, in a nutshell, how it works. Pretty, pretty quick, pretty simple. Um, if you wanted to get a little fancy, uh, you could do a couple things there. Um, so let's say, for example, uh, you wanted a live preview, right, on the print, uh, on the print screen, so that you could see the app or the label being created as you're entering info. If you go to the settings tab here, you'll see a bunch of info. One of them is a display barcode preview. Um, and then I'll also turn on this camera scanner functionality as well. Um, from the screen, you can access a couple other things. Um, you can clear on click, uh, which basically means that when you tap into a field, it'll clear whatever you've typed in. Um, turn on Bluetooth. Um, then there's a user guide here as well uh, that kind of goes into detail about everything that I'm talking about. So you can definitely reference that if you uh, need a refresher while you're using the app. Um, but now let's go back to the print tab and you'll see that now that we've entered the live barcode preview, you'll see your barcode being created here. So now as you type in information like Apple, it'll automatically show up um, on the thing and it'll kind of guide you. Uh, it's not on by default. I prefer to have it on. So, you know, some employees don't want to see it. You know, they prefer just to see the things here so they don't have to scroll down so much. Uh, it's all up to preference, right? Um, so let's say you want to edit this template a little bit. Um, so let's go over here to the templates and now we'll select edit label. So there's a bunch of things you can do here uh, and I'll try my best to highlight the major things. Um, let's say uh, for the product name, right? It's always going to be some variation of an apple um, and you want that to always say apple. So you could type apple right here um, and now it'll always say apple. Um, and you know, it might not be the most realistic use case, but there's definitely chance, uh, situations where you might want to do that. Um, and then if you wanted to make that non-edible, you can hit this, um, and then you can make it default value. And so what's going to happen is that that's always going to say Apple and you won't be able to uh, edit it. 
Um, let's say on the price, you wanted it to start with, oh, say with that, you wanted it to start with the dollar sign instead of having to type it in. Super easy. Just hit that and hit default value. And now it'll always start with the uh, dollar sign in front. Uh, and let's say you only wanted to be able to type in numbers, sent as a price, makes sense. You can hit numeric keyboard here, and that'll automatically um, pop up a number keyboard as opposed to alphanumerical. Uh, and then finally on the barcode here, let's say that instead of having to print, uh, hit the print button to print as soon as that's filled, you're always gonna want it to auto print as soon as there's information in that tab. That's easy as well. Just hit auto print, press save, it'll automatically close. And now when you come back, you'll see that things have changed a little bit. Uh, the Apple entry field or the product name is gone. The price is gonna automatically have the dollar sign here. Um, and your barcode is at the bottom and you see a little auto print use barcode scanner feature there. So let's say we wanna set the price to, uh, let's do a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty in Apple shows up like that. Go to the barcode. Uh, and let's say, you know, you already have a list of SKUs created um, and you just want to be able to quickly integrate that. There's two ways you can do that. You could either hit the barcode scanner button here um, and it'll create a barcode uh, or pull up the camera rather and it'll auto print. So you'll see now it has it automatically centered there uh, and print it out. So just a really quick streamlined way to print labels that way. Let's say you wanted to use something with like an integrated scanner. Um, so you could select this. Uh, and then, you know, if you want to do like a TC21, boom, you can zoom it in like that. Just a little bit of a quicker, more efficient way to enter data. And those all just easily print out uh, right here. And you can kind of see those, the different iterations created. So in a nutshell, that is how the app works. Just a few other quick notes uh, about the app's functionality before we wrap it up. Um, let's say, uh, you know, that there, you have a need for a template that you're not seeing here. You know, you need something for your workflow that's a little bit different. Say, for example, you know, you, you need three barcodes here and they need to be laid out in a particular way with like an image file or something, right? Um, feel free to reach out to us. We can do custom templates for your organization, um, with a paid subscription of the service. Uh, and we can get those loaded in for you. So feel free to, uh, give us a call or an email. Both of those are on the screen now. Um, or you could also reach out to us directly through the app by going to the user guide here uh, and hitting contact us uh, and you'll see a little form here uh, and you can just fill out the information that way. Uh, if you need to get a hand on any of the hardware that has been uh, shown here today, uh, you know, a compatible printer or if you want to, uh, you know, take the next step and invest in something like a fancy mobile computer with an integrated barcode scanner, you can do so. Um, we have set up a custom. Ooh, we have set up a uh, custom landing page on our website that you can access uh, through the Get Compatible Hardware screen here. Um, that'll have all the compatible hardware that we've certified uh, all in one place. Uh, and when you order from us, uh, you're going to get free lifetime hardware support, um, and we'll you know help you out. You'll kind of have someone by your side helping you walk through what you need to do to get everything set up. Uh, but with that, that'll wrap up what this app can do. We are always uh, pushing new updates and changes. We're gonna be releasing new templates. So definitely keep tabs, uh, download the app and sort of keep an eye out for those updates um, to sort of see what comes down the line. Um, we intentionally tried to make this as streamlined as possible uh, with the idea that, uh, you know, that'll reduce setup and employee training time, meaning that you can get to work quicker and hopefully more efficiently uh, with less data entry errors. Once again, the app can be downloaded on the Google Play Store. There's a link to that in the description below. Uh, and if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us, phone, email, doesn't matter. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate you watching. I look forward to chatting with you soon. Take care, bye-bye.